What I hear a lot from parents of special needs children is how isolated they feel while caring for their loved ones. Often parents choose to isolate themselves from society, their family and friends, because they think that no one could, un could understand what they were going through. They shut themselves down from the outside world. In other cases, families with disabled kids are kind of pushed out of the um, ordinary way of life by society. Today I'll talk about the importance of social interaction and connection for families with special kids. Stay with me. Hi, I'm Julia from A Gift of a Special Child. I'm a mom of two children. My younger daughter, Olivia, who is five now, was born with a rare genetic condition called Red Syndrome. With the help of this channel, I would like to be an uplifter, a supporter for those parents who raise disabled children. Through my own story, I want to prove that your child's disability is not the end of the world. It's quite the opposite. It's the start of your inner power discovery and the path to your true self. If you are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and thank you so much for watching my video today. Please subscribe to get notifications of my newly released videos. In 2018, when Olivia was diagnosed, I disappeared from all social radars for a few months. I didn't want to speak to my friends, I didn't want to go anywhere, I lost my job, so the professional communication was lost as well. At that time, I doubted that I would ever be able to come back to a normal life, um, socialize with the same people, speak about something other than my daughter's needs and challenges, or listen how great my uh, friends' kids were doing. I also had a fear that my friends will still be my friends after they know about Olivia. That period um, was like a life test for me. My friends who were real friends not only stayed in my life, but embraced my situation. They helped me to remain myself, not only as a, as a mother and, uh, and a caregiver. Those who didn't care that much just, just vanished, and uh, I'm not even sorry about that, because they were meaningless relationships anyway. The situation with Olivia helped me to see who I surrounded myself with genuinely um, good and kind people who allowed me to um, take a pose, find my ground on my new path and supported me when I was ready to share. I can't forget the story um, I read on the, in one of the uh, Facebook groups about a single mom of a disabled daughter whose husband left her because he just couldn't cope with their child's disability. Her family who saw her daughter as a, as a burden and never interacted with her like she was not even there in, in the same room. It was heartbreaking to read. My, my eyes were full of tears for her. But I also was amazed by the amount of kind, um, compassionate comments this lady received. Some people offered her friendship. Some advised her to join social clubs of special needs parents sending her links, different resources. What I want to say is that there are more kind and good people out there in the world. I choose to um, see it like that and it's true for me. When a special needs parent is ready, want to socialize, there is always a way to find your tribe. People who will, who will be willing to accept you and, and your child without any um, judgment, any assumptions or, or labeling. Nowadays, in our digital world, um, there are so many opportunities to find like-minded communities around the globe. For example, I have a friend who I met online because of Olivia. She lives thousands of miles from me. I've, I've never met her in, in, in person, only online. Nevertheless, um, I see her as my true friend, my soulmate, because she knows and um, understands me in a way that only special needs mom can understand another mom. Social interaction is vital for special needs parents. It helps to build resilience, the ability to cope with challenges and hectic um, everyday life. It is so important knowing that someone 
has your back, someone you can rely on, someone you can share joy and sadness, good and bad with. I must add that since Olivia was um, diagnosed, I met so many incredible people, gained new friends and appreciated a value of truly meaningful relationships. When you're surrounded by um, supportive, inspiring, compassionate people, the path of a special needs parent becomes much easier and, and smoother. Olivia showed me um, how much kindness is there in people. She does it with her irresistible smile that makes others smile back. I appreciate your stay with me today. If you want, you can leave your comment below. I am always happy to interact. Please support my channel by subscribing to it. See you soon.